Greetings, everyone. Strategic Sage here with more Factorio and what I think is going to be the most critical episode of the entire series, really, dealing with our foundation in utilizing the oil. And oil is the largest difficulty spike, in my opinion, for the entire vanilla Factorio game, but also unlocks a very large number of possibilities. Factorio really explodes with options here around the mid-game once we get used to getting all of this in place. But in order to get those cool toys, we have to do the work of setup and understanding how it works. Our pipes are, of course, the basic element. They're basically going to move around our materials, much like our transport belts do currently with solid items. And the pipe to grounds in particular, we're going to need a lot of those. Then refineries, oil refineries, they're much like the furnaces that we've been using so far. They're going to take our raw material, crude oil in this case, and turn it into something that's much more widely and in higher volume useful in the factory. So we'll get some power going up here. And we really want to leave lots of space when it comes to oil. Now our refinery has two inputs, three outputs. You can see it's five by five. It's quite a large structure. And the only recipe currently available to us is basic oil processing. We got this in our red and green research already. 100 crude oil over five seconds into 45 petroleum gas. Petroleum gas really being a cornerstone resource for all of our oil related products. But if we take this, we're going to notice pretty quickly that only one input and one output, but there's another one here and two here. So what are we going to use those for? Well, unlike the assembly machines that we have previously been using, or the furnaces, there is not an advanced tier of this. The oil refinery is simply the oil refinery. It's the only one we're going to be using the entire game. We do want to look at our research screen, though, because our very first item on here for the chemical science is advanced oil processing. And this is going to show us a couple of different things. First of all, if we build out our setup right now with just the crude oil and petroleum gas, then we're gonna to have to basically tear it all down later because it's not gonna make much sense. When we get to this, we can see we've got water will be coming in as an ingredient as well. And then also heavy oil and light oil coming out for our second and third product. And it's not important to us right now what heavy oil and light oil do but just that we are going to want to deal with those eventually. We should also note that our overall yield, overall products level from this process, the advanced oil processing is a little over twice what the basic oil processing is. So we want to move to this as quickly as possible for just a matter of basic resource usage. We're gonna actually select that now. So that's gonna be looking at us all the time until we can actually get to that. That's our next big goal. So now that we know we are going to have two in and three out, we want to set in our pipes to make that work effectively. And what I want to do is have one horizontal line that is reserved for each product, because we cannot put multiple products together in the same pipe, and be glad that you can't. When it, the game used to permit you to do that, it would just ruin all of everything that you had in both pipes if you accidentally made that happen. So now it just completely forbids you, won't let you connect two pipes that have different products. And then from here, what we're going to want to do is just use the undergrounds to move everything along. So like this, and like so for the water that's gonna be coming in, up here for the petroleum gas and the two other oil products. And in this way, we can scale this out indefinitely. I'm just gonna put a second one down here, but we're actually going to have multiple rows here that we're going to be doing. We're going to have many refineries. I'm going to start with six and we're going to grow to at least a couple dozen and possibly more. I also like to leave a gap of two again for space. Some people do a little closer with just one, but I'm going to go with two. And then we will get our recipe set up here. And as we repeat this pattern, we can begin to see how this is just going to allow us this could be too long or it could be 200 long and we can still just continue to hook up our pipes and have uninterrupted flow in both directions as we may choose to do. Okay, so before we go any further, let's hook up our oil. Get the crude in place. Now we're going to see our refineries turn on, but they're not going to be able to do much. 
they'll just be able to fill up these pipes. And by the way, each pipe stores 100, regardless of whether it's a pipe to ground or a regular pipe section. But once the pipes are full, these are going to shut off again. And they use quite a bit of power. You can see 434 kilowatts. That's close to three times what our current assembly machines to use. So that's a lot. Now we want to hook up for the water, and this is worth looking at a bit. I'm just going to head down close to where our depot is, because that's our closest source at the moment. But, I also want to keep this even with the crude oil pipes. And the reason is, if we want to drive vehicles in between these, well, if they're like staggered, then we'll very easily run into other pipes. And that will not be good for either pipe or vehicle. So, I'm going to avoid that. And that way create as much room as possible for traversing as we may wish to do in the future. And then we just need to get down here to where our depot is, which is not that much further. Here we go. And right here is where the water comes in, so we can just take this pipe and bring it back out here. And there we have our water. Just need to restock and get back to our oil area. Now we have our six refineries in place and all hooked up as we had the first two. Worth noting, these Moving up here, this is sort of just a bit of an oil shoulder. I didn't want all of these products to also get shoved over here and really crowd up our main shoulder. And so I've got the petroleum gas, eventual light oil, eventual heavy oil. And then also these two pumps. Now, pumps do more than just pump. They also sort of act as a valve or flow control. So I will eventually, and we'll see why later, want to keep some light and heavy oil down here and then also want some to go up this way, and I want to control when that happens. So having these pumps here supports that for the future. But for now, we're just focused on the petroleum gas, and we're gonna bring that out here because we're actually done with our crude oil. That doesn't need to go any further up the bus, so now we're just gonna fill in the petroleum gas in that spot, sort of maintaining the lane, as it were. And we're gonna make a nice long stretch up this way. All the way up here. And then this is the next area we're going to work on building in the next episode. But the reason why I'm doing all of this is when we get in the light and heavy oil with our advanced oil processing, then we're going to want to build some machines to do various things with those. And that's what these two lines are for. So we have two lines of refineries, Two more lines to be used later and then okay now everything's clear we've got the rest of our petroleum gas piped up here and we are ready to use it further we'll get into that when we return to factorio demystified thanks for watching i hope this was helpful to everyone see you soon